Hey guys, today I got my new delivery from Sponsor, my nutrition partner, and I want to tell you real quick what I ordered. So here's the package I ordered. So the first thing I always order, of course, is some bottles. Although I already got like a hundred bottles probably at home, but you can never have enough bottles, of course, as an athlete. And then also for training, I got my sports drink, the sponsor Long Energy. I use the Long Energy for training rides and uh, training runs. It's basically just a isotonic sport drink, um, which helps you getting all the carbohydrates that you need during the run or during a bike session. Then also for the training, I have my energy bars, which I also use usually on bike trainings, which are a little bit longer. These are energy bars in my favorite flavor, salty and nuts which is really cool, uh, especially in summer when you're sweating a lot and you get some salt. Uh, it's basically, I would say it tastes like a Snickers bar, but without all the chocolate. So I, for me, it takes, tastes really yummy. And they also get 7% of protein in the bars, which is really good to uh, give you that protein right away, which you need after the training to recover. And they usually eat one bar every hour of training so if i ride two hours um, on the bike i would usually take the bar after one hour and then for upcoming summer i got myself some electrolytes um, just because obviously you sweat a lot during training and to make up for all that loss of salt and electrolytes sometimes you have to take in a few extra electrolytes Then I got my second set of energy bars. Energy bars made of oat, and I like them a lot. They're really tasty. They come in my favorite flavor, creamy caramel. And I sometimes enjoy them just before a training or in between, uh, when you don't need that super high density of energy, but you still are a little bit hungry or you just wanna have a little snack. And then for after the training, I got my sponsor recovery. This is 50-36, means 50% is protein and 36% is carbohydrates. And that's what I need after really hard training sessions. So for example, if I have an interval session on the run, I would take uh, my sponsor recovery afterwards. If I just have easy runs, I don't need that much of protein. So, so then I usually just have a milk with some chocolate in it or uh, preferably Ovo Martina as I was living in Switzerland for a long time. But after my hard run sessions, I definitely want to make sure to take in the right proteins. And that's why I trust on the recovery drink. And then I also get some stuff for the races because now it's race season in the summer and the races are coming up. And I obviously need some energy during the race. So the first thing I have is some gels. These are the Liquid Energy Plus gels from Sponsor. And I usually just take them in Olympic distance races because in sprint distance races, I don't need that much of energy in the races as it's just an hour of racing. But in the Olympic distance races, um, you have to make sure that you have, to have, that you have enough energy um, that lasts you all the way through the run. And that's why I usually take one half of the Liquid Energy gel uh, on the bike on an Olympic distance race and then I save the other half of the gel for about 3 to 4k into the run and then I usually take the uh, second half of the gel right before a aid station and then um, swallow it down with some water from the aid station. Then also for the upcoming races I got my activators These are small portions of 
caffeine. And why I started taking them was because I had a lot of stomach cramps um, during the runs in races a few years ago. And then at one point, a friend recommended to take an espresso before the race. And after I did that, the race was actually pretty good, although I had stomach cramps even before the race. But the problem is I really hate coffee and also espresso, of course, and I really don't like the taste. And that's why I changed to the sponsor activators, which have the right amount of caffeine for the race. So I don't get the stomach cramps. And it also just helps you being ready right before the race. And you take them one hour before the race and the caffeine will lead to you being really active on the start of the race and being ready right away to smash it on the first meters. And basically that's what, it all, what it's all about on the short course distance races. And then the last thing also for the races, I got my competition sports drink, which I just have in the bottles in the race. And I have that in the sprint distance races as well as in the Olympic distance races. On the sprint distance races, I would usually have half a bottle, half, half of those uh, 500 milliliters bottles. So 250 milliliters, which I want to drink during the race. And on an Olympic distance race, I would usually have one and a half of these bottles. So about 750 milliliters. But of course, if you have a hot race and if it's very humid, like in Mexico, for example, then I would definitely take in more fluid. In particular, I would probably have two of the big bottles, two of the 750 milliliter bottles, both filled with sponsor competition, which has the right isotonic solution to make up for all the sweat loss during the race. And then you really have to make sure that you drink all that fluid that you have on your bike. Also because you just would have some extra weight on the bike in the bottles which you don't need so make sure you actually drink them and i usually have to remind myself during the times in the race when for example on the bike it's it is a little bit slower and you can actually breathe a little bit and then i make sure that i take in all that fluid and if it's an olympic distance also my energy gels so yeah that's it that's what i ordered at sponsor this time and if you have any questions about sports nutrition make sure to leave them down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to also subscribe to my channel and you will be first to see all my new videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.